going on guys? It's your boy Julius with Exclusive. Back at it with another one. I got Project Jixit behind me. We are moving forward with it. Today, I'm gonna be putting on the new sprocket on the back. Um, I'm gonna be taking off the stator cover and the clutch cover. I'm gonna go ahead and get them painted. I'm not gonna be painting them here because I'm at my apartment, so I'm gonna take them to my friend's garage, paint them over there, but I will be taking those off. The front sprocket, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that off. Usually I get those off when I have a chain on the bike. But since I did the motor swap, the front sprocket was on there. I don't really want to use the new chain to take it off, but you know, I'm sure I'm sure it'll work. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but it's gonna come off. And I might go ahead and get that radiator on. I think I gotta take the front wheel off again to make that happen. But either way, we're moving forward. We're gonna get to it. Thanks for tuning in and uh let's go. So unfortunately, I've been recording all day and my GoPro decided to take a dump on me. Oh, baby. It said card error, no big deal. I got it to work, I kept recording, plug it into the computer, nothing is readable. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what I've done so far since I have no footage to show you, let you know where I'm at. And I guess I'll just be recording with the Note 9 until I can uh, get this thing fixed. So let's check it out. So here we are at the bike. I've got the brand new 750 back sprocket on. The original sprocket was a 43 tooth for the 600. This one is a 45 tooth. So went ahead and did that. Those are gonna be the Vortex sprockets. Then I went ahead and got the front sprocket on, Vortex. I was a little bit worried at first because I didn't have to hold it in order to, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> All right, I had a cough attack, but I'm back. But as I was saying, I didn't have to uh, hold the sprocket in order to loosen it. The engine actually didn't spin, so I was a little worried for a little while. But I went ahead and put a breaker bar on it, made it spin. It's been sitting there for a while, so you know it, it probably just not seized up all the way, but was just kind of frozen for a little while. So, but that is on completely. Torque these down to 83 foot pounds of torque according to the manual. Same thing for the back. Um, not 83. I forgot what they are exactly. I want to say they were 45 for the back, but. Check your manuals before you do anything. Um, torqued everything down, everything's good to go. And then bam, you can see I've got my stator cover off. All of this is actually gonna get painted. I wasn't gonna paint this until I took it off. I saw some scratches on the side, which you can't really see, but since it's off, why not? Took the stator cover off. When you're taking the stator cover off, these are gonna be eight millimeter bolts. You wanna be very careful because there's a lot of pieces and parts that are here on this starter gear. Um, so. You want to be careful because if you drop them off, you get the washer switched up. It can be a pain to get it right again or figure out what washer goes where because if you flip those washers around, it actually sounds, my last bike sounded horrible when I accidentally got the washer switched around. So I try to just be very careful when you're prying it off. It's magnetized, so you got to give it a good pull, but just be sure to, to try to keep that either in the engine or in the cover without dropping all the other stuff behind it. So that's off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the water pump cover or yeah, that's what that is I'm gonna go ahead and take that off get that painted Try to clean up a little bit more inside back here. I cleaned up already. I did have Some of that recorded, but it is gone. So take this off get ready to get that painted and then around to the other side I'm gonna go ahead and take this side off. It's a little dark over here, but I've got a couple of just rough areas on here. So since I'm painting, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off too. And I will be painting that all throughout the week. But for now, that is where I'm at. Once I take that clutch cover off, um, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to put the radiator back on. I think I gotta take that front wheel off again, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the radiator, radiator back on, get the horn back on, and all that good stuff. Also, in the last video, I stated that I had all these pieces of the bike that were just resting on the bike. It looked like it was all put together. 
I just had it set up there without actually bolting it in. Heads up, don't do that. <laughs> I broke the tabs here for both sides. So I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot, get some glue or something. I'm not gonna buy a whole new fender for that tab, but it actually fits real loose without that. So we'll see, that's what's coming up. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera, get started on that clutch cover and keep it pushing, all right? out that one was in there just tight man I've never seen anything in there so tight as far as the oil filter goes but um, I'm gonna go ahead and let it drain out a little bit it's still dripping before I put the plug back in the plug didn't have any residue on there. anything that's on there now just came from me dropping it so I'm gonna clean that out but there was no residue on there the oil looks pretty clean I'm happy with what I'm seeing uh, I have faith in this motor man so we're gonna keep it going I'm gonna go ahead and get the radiator and everything that's supposed to go right here I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on make sure everything's bolted down and uh, tight so I don't have to open it back up ever and keep it pushing let's go so here we are I did have to take the front wheel off to put the radiator on the radiator is only three screws this one one on the other side and one down here at the bottom which mounts to the engine right there so got those on, I got the horn on, that's plugged in. Um, I went ahead and tightened everything for the final time here. So the brakes are completely on, axle, nut is tied. These are all torqued down to spec, 16 foot pounds, 72 foot pounds. So everything's looking good right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and on this side of the radiator, I'm missing the clamps for these, which I'm sure, they're probably in the storage unit that I used to work in. So I'm gonna run over to the storage unit real quick, see if I can get those on. And yeah, keep it pushing from there. So stay tuned. Yo, look at Project Jason. She almost fully dressed. Mm, she fine. But it is pretty much put together, guys. Take a look. It's looking like a bike again. I've got the tail completely on. Today I got the front and rear sprocket put on. I've got the front wheel completely put on. The radiator is on. The front nose fairing is all the way on, but I do still have a slight modification to do with the air box. It's not all the way lined up with the frame, so not sure when I'm gonna do that. I just wanna get this bike started as of right now. So, but it is on as of right now. Um, everything's wired up back here can't really see it it's nine o'clock at night over here so it's time for me to start cleaning up but everything's wired up the as you can see I've got the stator cover off the water pump off and the sprocket cover off along with the clutch cover that is also off all that is sitting over here I'm gonna go ahead and paint that up this week I'm gonna take all the old paint off sand it I'm making a video on it so stay tuned for that but I will be painting that up this week. Putting that back on, after that, I basically gotta figure out, I think there's a good four wires under the tank that I don't know what they go to. I downloaded a wiring uh, die or I downloaded a service manual. It didn't really have a full printed out wiring diagram, which is what I was looking for. 
but it may work. If not, I might just have to take it to the to the tuner and get him to uh, help me out a little bit because I also have to take him the chain. So I'm gonna have to see him for some stuff. Maybe he'll just help me out there too. So, but it's looking good, man. It's fully dressed. She's ready to go out. Project Jake, so y'all stay tuned. Like I said, the next video coming up will be me painting these pieces and getting them back on. I appreciate your support. 100 subscribers, 500 subscribers. I'll be doing a giveaway. Not sure what yet, but I'll keep it updated, y'all. I appreciate it, and see you next time.